how to install FDroid on Android. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser. I'm going to be opening up Google Chrome, which is at the bottom right hand corner of my home screen. I'm just going to tap on Google Chrome now to open it. Once you've opened up your browser, you want to navigate to the following URL, which is F droid.org. Once you're here, you'll be on the FDroid homepage. On this homepage, you'll first be able to learn about what exactly is FDroid. So FDroid is an installable catalog of FOSS free and open source software applications for the Android platform. The client makes it easy to browse, install and keep track of updates on your device. Underneath then, you should see a big blue button which says download FDroid. I'm just going to tap on it now to start the download. You'll then be greeted with the following notification at the very bottom of your device, which says this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep FDroid.apk anyway? You have the option to cancel or OK. I'm going to tap on OK. FDroid will then be downloaded onto our device. Once you've got the FDroid.apk file on your device, all you need to do is tap on open at the very bottom of your Android device. I'm just going to tap on open now. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with a notification from Chrome or whatever browser you're currently using to download FDroid with. The notification reads, for your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You have the option to cancel or to go into your phone settings. We're going to tap on settings. You'll then be in the install unknown apps section for Google Chrome. At the very bottom, there's a bit of crucial information that you might consider before you decide to install fdroid.apk. It reads, your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by unknown apps. By installing apps from this source, you agree that you are responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of data that may result from their use. As you can see, allow from this source is currently toggled off and is grayed out. To install FDroid, we're going to need to toggle this on and allow from this source for whatever browser you're currently using. Of course, we want to install FDroid, so we're just going to toggle allow from this source from off to on. Once you've done that, the toggle should be blue, which means you can now install unknown applications. Once you've done that, tap on the arrow key at the bottom left hand corner here. You should then be taken back to Google Chrome and receive a notification from FDroid which reads, do you want to install this application? So you have the option to cancel the installation of FDroid or to install it. I'm going to tap on install to begin the installation process for FDroid. All right guys, the FDroid application has now been installed. You have the option to press done or to open it up immediately. We're going to be tapping on open to quickly show you how the user interface of FDroid currently looks like as of recording of this video. So once you first open up FDroid, it will immediately begin updating repositories on the FDroid app. Once the repositories for FDroid have been updated, you'll immediately be taken to the latest applications that are now available on FDroid for you to install in your own time. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to install FDroid on Android. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.